Today, you'll learn my favorite tips on how to discover the best keywords for your content marketing so you can publish the right content and grow your traffic. So let's get started. Okay, so when I do keyword research for my content marketing plan, I always like to start the process by listing out my seed keywords. Okay, so I open up an Excel document and I basically list out the main keywords for my business and website. So let's say we have a blog around sleeping where we educate people around all the aspects around sleep. So some of our seed keywords could be sleeping tips, how to sleep, Maybe we have an e-commerce site where we sell mattresses. So some of our seed keywords could be mattress, firm mattress, soft mattress, so on and so forth. So once we have a list of all of our seed keywords, the next step is to find the long tail terms for each one. And we will be putting the long tail terms in their respective tabs right here. So in order to find the long tail terms, we would need to use keywords everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com and you can install it for either Chrome or Firefox. So once you have it installed, uh, we will search for each one of the seed keywords. So we can first start off by searching for sleeping tips. Now, Keywords Everywhere gives us some very relevant information around this term. So you can see the search volume is uh, close to 3,000 a month right here. Um, but the next step is to click on this button right here, find long tail keywords for sleeping tips. Now, when you click on this button, Keywords Everywhere will provide you with all of those long tail keywords. It found close to 600 keywords for sleeping tips. Okay, now I'm going to click on copy, go back to Excel, and paste it. Now I have all the long tail keywords with their respective data. You can see the search volume, you can see the average cost per click, the competition score. So if you are running any Google ads and want to analyze the best keywords, you can take a look at these two columns right here. You can take a look at the trending percentage and you can see the exact search volume over the past 12 months. I like to focus on the keywords that have a good amount of search volume and also the ones that are relevant for my business and website. Best sleeping position for lower back pain. This could be an excellent article to write on and I can highlight this. What sleeping position is best? That's also a topic that we can write an article around. It has really good search volume. So you wanna go through this list and highlight the ones that are relevant for your business and that you think you can add to your content marketing strategy. Now, when you are analyzing this list of keywords, don't worry if you find a keyword that's relevant but has a lower search volume because even though the search volume is lower, if it's still relevant for your business, that could still be an excellent topic that you can target. Like maybe this one, five tips for better sleep. I think that could be an excellent article to write. Let's see, sleep, sleeping position for good health, sleeping position for heart. These could be two excellent articles that we can create an article around. Now, if you don't wanna analyze the list of keywords in Excel, you can always analyze it inside Keywords Everywhere. So inside Keywords Everywhere, we can analyze the exact same data as with Excel. You can see the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, uh, the monthly search volume over the past year, and also the trending percentage. You can see there are tons of topics that we can potentially target on our website and also write an article around. Sometimes you may want to write an article around what's currently trending. So I like to look at this last column right here. So we can add a minimum of one. So all the keywords will show you, so all the keywords are currently trending. Or if you wanna look at keywords that are trending at a much higher rate, we can add maybe 100 and you'll see the super trendy keywords right here. And depending on the keyword, Keywords Everywhere will sometimes show you a special widget that lists out all the trending keywords. So for example, how to sleep, this one has a search volume of over 18,000. And on the right hand side, you can scroll to the trending keyword section. So these are the trending keywords associated with how to sleep. And you can see the percentages are quite high. So if you want to uh, plan out content that's 
very trendy, this is an excellent widget to analyze. How to train yourself to sleep on your back. That one has a search volume of a thousand and a 7,700% increase in searches. How to know if I have sleep apnea how to sleep with knee pain. You can also look at the other widgets right here as well. So long tail keywords, how much melatonin to sleep, how much magnesium to sleep. So really great topics. And you can potentially write an article for every single one of these keywords. And your website will become a very authoritative website with topics that really touch on everything that people are searching for under the how to sleep umbrella. Now, aside from search volume relevance and looking at what's trending, I also like to look at modifiers within my niche. So keywords that have things like tips, best, chart, years, how to guide. These could give us some excellent ideas that we can potentially write an, art, an article around. For example, best, let's see if uh, we can find any Long tail terms that have best. Okay, there we go, I added best right here. And there are ton, 31 long tail terms that have best. So best sleeping position, best, best sleeping position, best sleeping position for lower back pain. This one sounds interesting. It has close to 10,000 searches. And we can even dive even, even deeper. If there is a specific keyword that interests us, we can Google it and see what types of data we can gather. So for this one, best sleeping position for lower back pain, I like to look at this widget right here, which shows us the SEO difficulty score. So the higher the score, the more difficult it is for us to rank. I like to target keywords that have a difficulty score of around 50 or less, if my goal is to rank as high as possible. So 56 is a little bit on the higher end, so this might not be a keyword that I may want to target if my goal is to rank on the first page. But we can also find some related keywords around this term. So if you scroll down, you could see this widget right here, related keywords. So these ones might be better terms for us to write an article around that might be easier to rank for. Let's see here, uh, worst sleeping position for lower back pain. We can Google that and see what the SEO difficulty score is for this one. So this one has a search volume of 1,000 and the SEO difficulty score is 46. So that's excellent because the search volume is still on the higher end, but the SEO difficulty score is much lower. So if I want to write an article around um, lower back pain, I would probably write an article and target worst sleeping position for lower back pain because I do have a chance to rank um, as high as possible for this term. Okay, so this is how I do keyword research for my content marketing strategy. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.